Hey guys, it's Alyssa. I just wanted to hop on here this evening and give you guys a quick little reading. Uh, our topic today is going to be, is my person of interest watching me online? And if so, why? And if not, why not, I guess? <laughs> um, so we're just going to have three decks to choose from. We've got the Santa Muerte Tarot, the Wild Unknown Tarot, and the Golden Tarot. Um, these are some of my top three favorite decks, by the way, fun fact. Um, so go ahead and make your choice, think about your person of interest. Deck one, the Santa Muerte folks. Is your person of interest watching you online and why or why not? So is, okay, uh, so right away we have the Two of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords, lots of air, energy, someone really being in their head. We have the Knight of Swords. So, okay, so right away, I want to say yes. Um, let me get some more cards, though. Make sure. Three of Pentacles, King of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Magician. Okay. So here's what I'm getting here. Um, the person you're asking about is like hella into you with the Knight of Cups here. That's what I'm getting. And also the King of Cups. These two cards are like major emotions. All right. Big feelings. <laughs> okay. Um, it's like... Especially with the knight, it's like wanting to come forward, wanting to make some kind of offer, wanting to express oneself. Um, and with the King of Cups, that's that's a very like mature uh, kind of energy. That's like an energy of like, yeah, I I'm into this person, and I know that, and I I'm very clear on my feelings about this individual. So it's kind of like that's how your person is thinking about you, or that's kind of how their feelings are towards you. Um, I feel like they. I feel like they do keep a keep their keep an eye on you online, um, just because they want to see what you're up to. They want to see like, okay, they do that because they're afraid to actually approach you or say something to you. And that's what I've got with the Eight of Swords. This card's about like isolation. It's about keeping to yourself. And the Two of Swords is kind of like, you know, I, I want to make this move, but I'm afraid to, so I'm just going to do nothing. You know, it's like, do I come forward or do I just move on with my life? They don't want to do either, <laughs> right? So they're just kind of stuck or, you know, feeling stuck, um, just kind of keeping an, keep an eye on you just because they want to know, like, what you're up to. It's like, um, I'm, I'm hearing the phrase, like, living vicariously. <laughs> uh, so it could be that the person you're asking about um, is, like, in watching you online, they kind of feel like they have a relationship with you to some extent. Does that make sense? Um, it's like even though maybe you don't talk or you don't talk very much or whatever, it's like as long as they know what you're up to and they kind of have an idea of what you're doing, it's like they feel like they have a relationship with you. Is that weird? It's a little bit weird, but um, <laughs> that's kind of, not that your person's weird, um, I mean, they might be, but that's okay. Um, but that's, that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, you know, I, um, again, I want to come forward, but I don't because I'm afraid. I just feel like this person is quite shy, okay? Um, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, this is really um, kind of emphasizing that that feeling of like, you know, feeling as though they have something with you already by virtue of keeping tabs on you. Um, because it's like, I don't know, it's, it's like they feel as if they have some kind of groundwork there for that relationship. And the Six of Pentacles is, um, 
I know this card talks about balance, it talks about stability, reciprocation. It's like that's what they want. That's what they're looking for. Um, they want that reciprocation. They want that like equal give and take. They they want to have like an actual relationship with you, right? And it doesn't have to be romantic necessarily, or it doesn't have to just immediately start off that way, I guess I should say. Um, but again, it's like, Mm, they're they're afraid to take that initial step towards you, um, and that's what the magician's talking about. This card talks about uh, something new beginning, some kind of uh, something being manifested, and it's like they have everything they need to take this action. They, it's not like there's anything missing. It's not like there's anything that would like inherently make you reject them or whatever it's just that they are fearful right um they're anxious so that my friends uh pile one is what i have for you um so short answer yeah and and they're watching you because they're hella into you but they're afraid to tell you that so um deck one that's your reading. I hope that resonates with you, and I hope it uh, gives you some insight. Um, I told y'all these would be quick. So, um, all right. Deck number two, we got the Wild Unknown. So, deck two, let's find out if your person is watching you online and why or why not. All right, all right, all right. Um... I'm not gonna take all those. So we have the Three of Wands, we have Justice. So the Three of Wands is an energy of waiting. Um, we've got the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. And the Three of Pentacles. And the world. Interesting. So let me get one more. I said one. I said one. I said one. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at this, guys. The magician. Group one had the magician too in the same exact placement. So, um, is your person watching you? I think yes. Um, however, they try not to. It's kind of like checking you out online is kind of like an addiction for them. It's like they know they shouldn't do it, but they just kind of keep going back to it anyway, just because maybe they are um, a little bit of a masochist or maybe they just, you know, their curiosity just gets the better of them. Um, and I, I, <laughs> I have that sort of masochistic vibe from the Ten of Swords here because the Ten of Swords is something that's painful, right? Um, so it's like watching you, looking at your profile or whatever, uh, sometimes they see things that kind of hurts their feelings. Um, so like, for example, if you are in some other relationship or if you are like posting things that kind of directly... Uh, goes against like what they're into or like if you're like talking shit about things that they like for example i don't know but um sometimes they see stuff that kind of hurts their feelings um or kind of makes them feel bad or just makes them miss you a lot and so they know they can't they they know they have to stop looking but they just can't they just keep coming back to it um and I'm getting that kind of from the Wheel of Fortune and the world. It's like they just um, they just keep they just keep going back. It, you know, these cards are both about movements. Um, they just keep going back to it. It it's like a it's like their drug of choice. I don't know your your Facebook or your Instagram or whatever is their drug of choice. Um, the Three of Wands. This card is about like waiting to take some sort of action. It's uh, it, it's a very um, 
it's like something being delayed or waiting for something to happen before you take some kind of action, uh, waiting for some kind of catalyst or waiting for like a, 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 a the okay to, to do something. Um, I feel like they watch you also because they're looking for things that would give them like an excuse to contact you. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. And with Justice and the Three of Pentacles, um, I kind of feel like this person feels really, um, attached to you. Three of Pentacles is talking to me about connectedness. And the Justice card is making me think that there's something that they feel like needs to be addressed. Like some kind of issue has remained unaddressed that they feel like needs to be talked about. Um, and it could be something that you did to them or something that they did to you and it's like either they want some kind of apology or they want to give you an apology something like that um and that's also in part it's like there's there's this feeling of like a lack of closure even though we have two cards that talk about completion three cards actually that talk about completion it's like maybe from your perspective this situation has been closed it's it's over it's done but from their perspective it's not they feel like they didn't a acquire a sufficient amount of closure does that make sense um and so that's why they're watching you because they want they're looking for an excuse to contact you and they know, they, they kind of know that they need to just move on, but they can't. They just keep going back to it. And actually, I want to pull out a clarifier for the magician in this particular case. The High Priestess. It's possible that this person feels like the two of you are meant to be in each other's lives. Um... It's possible that this person wants to have another chance with you, uh, regardless of whether you wronged them or not. It's like they they want another they want another go. They want to prove themselves to you, or they want to give you another chance, something like that. Um, so that's kind of interesting, guys. And this person might actually think that you guys are soulmates. You might be, because we do have the Wheel of Fortune, we have Justice, we have the High Priestess. Um, those are all cards that can be indicative of that, but um, it could also just be their personal belief. Um, uh, I'm, that's, it's not for me to say, with this just being a general reading and this just being like an, another person's um, thoughts or energy. Um, so, I feel like there's there's just this vibe of, like, this person feels like there's unfinished business between you and you guys have something to settle and they kind of just want, like, another chance. They want another opportunity to do this. Okay? Um, so, group two, that's your reading. I hope that resonates with you and I hope it gives you some insight. I told you guys that this would be quick. Um... So, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching. I hope I see you next time. And finally, we have the Golden Tarot, deck number three. So, okay, we got somebody jumping out here already. We have the High Priestess. Um, okay, is deck three's person watching them online? Why or why not? We have the Nine of Coins. Whoa, that went straight in the floor. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. Let me see what fell in the floor. The Tower.
the Ten of Cups, the Empress, and let's get one more. Whoa. That's too many cards, guys. Get it together, lads. Come on. One more. Okay, there we go. We have the Page of Cups. So, um, all right. Here's the deal. Deck three, people. Um, it's weird because I'm kind of getting a yes and a no. Like these three cards up top and the Ten of Cups are making me think no, but then the other three cards are giving me like mixed messages. <laughs> so okay, here's what I'm getting. Um, the High Priestess, this card is about the unknown, okay, it talks about that which is hidden. So with this, there's this energy of like them not knowing what you're doing, them not knowing what's going on in your life, which would imply that no, they are not watching you online. Um, we also have the Nine of Coins and the Eight of Swords. These are giving me similar vibes um, because they're both about, like, th to an extent, they're both about being alone. Um, the Nine of Coins is like an independent kind of energy. It's, it's happiness in solitude. It is embracing that kind of solitude. Um, whereas the Eight of Swords is more like a self-imposed imprisonment. It's like isolating yourself. Um, so I kind of get this impression like your person is wanting to just keep to themselves and they're wanting to just like, it's like they're wanting to protect themselves by just minding their own business. Okay. Um, and with the Ten of Cups here, it's like they're trying to just focus on their thing, their own goals, what's going on in their life. Um, they're trying on, they're trying to focus on just making their own dreams happen. Um, but <laughs> the, um, like the Empress and the Page of Cups makes me think that, okay, okay, okay. It's like they, I, <sighs> I don't think that they watch you. If they if they do check out your socials, it's on occasion. It's not a regular thing. Um, and I think that they try to avoid doing that. It's like most of the time they don't, but they want to. There's like this curiosity. There's this desire to know, this desire to look. But they know that they might see something that would just crush them with the tower card. Uh, and so that's why they, they usually try to avoid it. Okay, uh, the Page of Cups and the Empress is telling me that this person does have feelings for you. Um, however, they feel like they're, um, they kind of feel like they're not good enough for some reason. The Page of Cups does have a kind of immature, like, uh, underdeveloped energy to it. So it's like, they kind of feel like they are the Page and you are the Empress or the emperor, or whatever. Um, and so it's like this feeling of like, I don't compare. You know, I'm just a page with a lousy cup full of fish, and this person is this regal, extravagant individual that I just can't compete with, you know? It's like, why... It's like... It, it's like you make them feel inferior and yet they have so much I think love for you because the Empress talks about unconditional love and the page of cups talks about emotions it talks about wanting to express your feelings wanting to make an offer of love um, so they do like you a lot they have a lot of love for you and <laughs> they want to know what's going on in your life but they also don't because they know that they could see something that would hurt their feelings or make them 
I don't know, something that would just kind of crush their spirit. <laughs> like, like if they, uh, if they were to see you, uh, posting pictures with, like, another person, like, like, being all up on each other and, like, smooching or something, that would, that would be, like, a kick to the nuts for this person, so to speak. Um, and so they don't, they don't want to see stuff like that because they, they want to be that person for you. You know, they want to be the person that you're smooching on, uh, not somebody else. So, they, um, for the most part, no, I don't think that they do, but they want to. They so want to know what you're doing. They so want to know what you're doing. Um, and they're not, uh... I mean, I'm assuming that you and this person have some history together, uh, but for, for whatever reason, you know, they, they feel like they're not good enough, and so for that reason, they are not, um, they're not initiating anything, they're not really, uh, speaking to you or whatever, um, however, I kind of think that, I feel like they will eventually, um, and whether you are receptive to that, you know, that's, that's up to you. Um, but, like, sometimes I think their curiosity does get the best of them, and they do check you out. Uh, but for the most part, they try not to. Okay, pile three. Um, that is the reading for you guys. I hope this resonated, and I hope this gave you some insight. Uh, I told you all these would be quick. So, um, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that I see you next time, pals. Bye!